Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Roxa Cola. It says more than wet. Uh, these, this pack of four was $3.28 at Walmart. And uh, they're nice glass bottles. We've had them, I'm gonna take them out because I'm gonna read the, uh, the box here. Uh, we have had these in the refrigerator. Uh, what the deal is, is in, we live in Winchester, Kentucky. And in Winchester, Kentucky, uh, we are known for, not only for beer cheese, but we're known for L81. L81 is a soft drink and we have reviewed it on the channel several times. If you type in Tammy Dunn L8, A-L-E-8, uh, it'll come up, the reviews. Um, they've had other, uh, they've had flavors that we haven't even tried. And the reason for that is just because they only come out in the four pack usually when it's a special edition. It's like, we don't drink full calorie drinks, uh, but this one is so special that we went ahead and bought bought the four pack and we'll just give the rest away. Um, it, it says before Kentucky wet its whistle with the crispiest ginger citrus soda ever created, L81, it had a predecessor before there was bracing pep, so L8 is known for bracing pep. That's their slogan. Uh, or it glorifies there was more than wet. So this, the slogan was more than wet. It all started with a love story. Roxacola is the soda our founder G.L. Wayne Scott lovingly created for his wife Roxanne in 1906. Without Roxacola, there is no L81. After 55 years dormant, hmm. we pay homage and reinvigorate the delicious prequel, Roxacola. Wayne Scott's original, Share Their Love. So it says, 121st Anniversary Edition, the 1906 original made by L81 Bottling Company, formulated, bottled, and shipped from Winchester, Kentucky. Uh, let's see. For a limited time only, this is out. Mm -hmm. So this it is. Like um, a regular soda. It says one bottle is. It's tw a 12 ounce bottle. It's 140 calories. And truly, there's not a lot of ingredients here. It says carbonated water, sugar, caramel color, natural flavors, phosphoric acid, and caffeine. That's that's all it says. Of course, the natural flavors are the. What makes it a big difference? Then it's not a, um, a super fizzy drink, which is like Coke is really strongly carbonated, mm -hmm. like it always has been. This one's not as carbonated; it's kind of a lighter carbonation. But I like the flavor of it. I agree, um, and and I um, I love a Coke Coke Zero, uh, but it has a, there's a little bit of a bite to it. Mm -hmm. This one has. Um, it's it's like it goes down smoother. Mm -hmm. There's a, yeah, because, it's very smooth. Because it's not really carbonated, it it's a lot smoother than mm -hmm. that. It almost reminds me. Of course, I'd have to have them side by side, but it reminds me a lot of an RC. It's similar for sure. To an RC cola. Yeah, I think even the flavors are a little more uh, muted than RC is even. And RC RC is almost too uncarbonated. It's almost flat. This one's not quite that bad, but it is. Um, yeah, it's, it's good. I like it. Uh, I like it quite a bit. Yes, it's not um, it's not sugary sweet. So like Mountain Dews, they've come out with like special ones that have been like like you're drinking a dessert or yeah, something. Literally. This isn't like that. This is absolutely a cola, um, mm. but it's not over the top sweet. Not very carbonated. It's very, it, I, honestly, if they came out with a diet version and it was just as good, mm -hmm. the flavor was just as good, I could drink that all the time. Yeah, it's very, very because good. Because it's very nice. And I, like, I don't like Pepsi. I really don't like Pepsi. So, I always say, no, I'm going to stick with Coke Zero. But actually, this is nice enough to where, like, I could, if they had it in diet, I could get either one. Be um, I like this. I'll, I like this so much more than Pepsi. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, th I think it's better than Pepsi. And I, I drank Pepsi for years, but Pepsi mm -hmm. also seems kind of flat compared to a Coke. Because mm -hmm. Coke is, like I said, so carbonated. It is very carbonated. Anytime I drink a, a Coke Zero, it, I immediately I, I belch more, a, a lot more. So it's just all that the fizziness. But I love them. Um, this I think you could drink it, and I don't. I don't feel like if I had drank as much as I did of a Coke, I would already need to belch. 
This, I feel no need to belch at all. Uh, it's, so it's a different feel. It's just easier. Um, so I really like this. We found it, uh, Kevin actually spotted it. Uh, we- I mean, it wasn't hard to find. It's a huge blue, blue display. <laughs> yes, in our, uh, of course it's our Walmart. I live, we live in Winchester where this is made. Um, I would be very, very curious to know how did, far out it went. Yeah, how far did they ship these? Because um, I've tried to tell people when we've done the L8 reviews, a lot of times you can find L8 in Cracker Barrel. Mm -hmm. So you might not have it in your regular store, but you might be able to go to your Cracker Barrel in their old country store and buy it there. So I'm wondering if they ship some of these out to Cracker Barrels in other states. Yeah, that'd and, be cool. and you might actually see this. Um, if you do, I hope you buy a bottle. Because I would think they would, wouldn't you think Cracker Barrel would sell this in singles? Because that's how they you would sell. Think. I don't know. I yeah. know. It's hard to say. Yeah. Uh, I, I like it though. I think it's worth it. I just don't expect it to be like this really big, bold flavor like a lot of things are now. It's 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 a classic flavor. It, it really it, is it more is. a classic flavor. But I don't think for 140 calories, that's not bad for no, this. When so many other drinks, you know, are, are so many more calories, I don't even think that's bad on no, the calories. No, I don't think so either. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've ever had one, let us know your thoughts and thanks for watching.